Okay, you know what? Do nothing else, but just what I tell you. I'm sorry. She's struggling, like usual. I'm Akito Hayami, a 26-year-old. I work for an employment ad company called Homereach. My sales are just the average. I've never drawn people's attention my entire life. What did you do this time? Hayami Senpai. First, he got mad at me because of the way I talk, and one thing went to another. He brought up all the mistakes I've ever made. Meet Emma Yoroizuka, a 26-year-old temp. She was working for a building contractor owned by her father, until she started working with us recently. It seems that she has trouble working here. This company is still kinda old-fashioned. I don't understand them. Emma-san, did you memorize everything on the documents I gave you? Uh, um, no, not yet. My bad. <gasps> Pay more attention to the way you talk. You work here. You need to say, I'm sorry. Well, you're not educated. Maybe this is too much for you. I'm sorry. This is Kashio Gomano, the president's son. He's hard to please, so everyone in the company cautiously skirts around him. It's not rare for him to be relocated to another department. Now the biggest part of his job is train rookies. At least, he claims so. Kasho senpai she's working hard. We should give her a bit more time. It's you again. All the guys in sales are classless. <laughs> I don't really want money or want to get promoted, so I don't hesitate to tell him whatever I want, which is something everyone else can't do. Huh, I guess he hates me. Anyway, just listen to others. That's all you need to do. Blah, like I'd ever listen to you. Hey, stop. Everyone is scared of him. This is so wrong. I wish she didn't have a sharp tongue like this. Everyone is scared of her, too. A few days later... You need to ask me when you have a question. Otherwise, I can't give you any tasks. I'm sorry, but I was... Don't talk back to me. Seems like you didn't get what I told you the other day. Kashio-san, you should have listened to her a bit more. Oh, you interrupt us every time. Okay, you're her mentor as of now. I can't take this anymore. She's oh, too much for me. Oh, no. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. I didn't think this would happen again. It's okay. Did you almost tell him earlier? I did ask him questions. He only said, figure it out by yourself. And now he said, why didn't you ask me? It pisses me off. I knew it wasn't working out. Okay, he's your new mentor. I'll train you properly. Thanks. Hmm, maybe she still needs to be a bit more polite. Morning. Uh, morning. Sup? Yoro izuka -san. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Are you sure this will work? Everyone is scared of you. Work will never go well at this rate. Greeting properly will help you come across as a nice person. Well, if you say so. <laughs> so funny. This is how you train her? Like she's a little kid? We're working hard. Would you leave us alone? Wow, sorry. Good luck. Ah, he loves nagging. You don't have to be annoyed by him. Let's go to the next apartment. He's annoying. Prove him wrong by doing a good job. You look cool. Okay, I don't want him to insult you. I'll work hard. I decide to start by teaching her the basics of business etiquette. How to greet, exchange business cards, speak with clients, etc. I teach her them one by one, carefully and thoroughly, so that she won't feel I'm bossing her around. I hope this will work, and she'll be able to work with our co-workers smoothly. You've been getting better. Really? I give you my thanks. I will do my best to speak in a more professional manner. That's the spirit. Yoroizuka san, thanks for helping me out earlier. Sure thing, anytime. Talk to me if you need help. Great, they didn't know that she's kind and conscious of others. Now that they know, they aren't scared of her anymore. I've been enjoying my work lately. I'm glad I can help everybody. They were thinking you were scary. Now they know you're a nice person. Who was I thinking I was scared? Guess I have to kick some ass. Language? Sorry. Shit, everyone started liking Yoroizuka right after Hayami became her mentor. They might think I didn't train her properly. A little while later, Kashio starts snarking at us again. I tell myself not to be annoyed by it. Hey, Hayami, could you do me a favor? I'd like you to visit this client. Okay, Yoroizuka san, let's go. Okay. Just go see the representative. You'll see. Huh? huh? Hello, I'm Hayami from Homereach. 
Uh, what's wrong with your service? I've been running ads on your website, but I got no applications. Oh, he's really mad. I'm sure Kashio made us visit him because of this. Please calm down. Yeah, shut up! I'm snapped! He's so upset he won't listen to me. I'm bad at dealing with this. We've been doing the best we can. The best? Don't give me a lame excuse! That's <laughs> enough, you old man! You're Uizuka san! What did you say? Old man? No one wants to work with you because you're overly intimidating. You don't get it? <sighs> you have no comeback because you know it's true. Keep your mouth shut and listen to him. He's trying to help you. You? Oh, no. You're interesting. Tell me what you think I'm doing wrong. Oh? Fine. Got a pen? After a little chat, despite my impression of him, I find out that he's rather a very nice man. He tells me that no one's ever pointed out what Yoruizuka did, and that it really hit him. I'm sorry about what I told you. You should be, old man. Be nice to others. Hey, don't get carried away. Sorry. I almost wetted myself. You seem to be used to dealing with angry people. I grew up surrounded by carpenters, so I know how to deal with men like that old man. Basically, those men will become friendly once you become close to them. My father was also a carpenter. I worked with him, but he became sick and retired. I joined Homey Reach because I wanted to try something new. I didn't know that. Why did you choose my company? It's a secret. <laughs> Well, you stood up to that man for me. You were kind of cool. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm embarrassed. My heart actually pounded. <laughs> she's a nice girl. I love spending time with her. No, no, she's my co-worker. Don't do it. Senpai, you're blocking the way. Yo, hey, stop. I'm not a kid. What's the matter? Are you attracted to me? N no, I'm not. We're grown-ups. Grown-ups don't hold hands. You're embarrassed. How cute. The fact that you're a successfully calmed down an angry client becomes known in the company. It causes our co-workers to start asking us to deal with their customers who are hard to please. Eventually, our sales results improve and everyone's evaluation of your san gets better. <gasps> I'm so frustrated. Oh, I got an idea. <laughs> The office was such a savage place before, but yoruizuka san has significantly softened the atmosphere. She's special. Senpai, we should go to the meeting. Uh, yeah, give me a sec. Hey, oh, you're both here. Great. I'll tell you what, my big brother will be back to Japan and become the new president. Applause. <sighs> it's a well-known fact that he's very strict. Emma-san? It's about time your contract to be renewed. Yeah, in a month. My big brother wants to double your sales results. Otherwise, we won't renew your contract. No, double? That's ridiculous. I tried to talk him out of it, but he was really stubborn. Good luck. What should we do? It's over. I'm sure they won't make it. I'll insult her a lot until she quits. <laughs> She's shaken up. I need to do something. Hey, do you want to grab a drink with me? It's rare for you to say that. I can't believe it. I'm working really hard, but... Seems like we can't be successful without a strong academic background. That's not true. Everyone knows you're hardworking. <laughs> I can't double it, but I don't want to quit either. Normally, she never whine like this. Was she so petite like this all the time? I think she's been holding tears this whole time. Don't worry. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Senpai, what's with you? You look different from usual. I'm fired up. I'll help you double your sales results. Keep up with me. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. You're a lightweight, aren't you? <laughs> this is your first class. You ask me out. I won't let you go home until the morning. It's not gonna happen. We have work tomorrow. Then, how about this? You have to do anything I want if I double my sales results. Deal. What will you make me do? It's a secret, of course. <sighs> I knew it. I come up with an idea. We make the most of yoruizuka sans connections. We call and visit all the construction companies that she was in touch with when she was working as a carpenter. To my surprise, most of them happily form contracts with us. The fact that the industry lacks workers nowadays is one of the reasons. 
And the biggest reason is that everyone likes Yura Wizuka san and her father. I wouldn't call any of them before because I thought that if things went wrong, I'd cause dad trouble. Did you see how thankful they were to us? I should have called them earlier. We're not through the most important part yet. Let's support them properly. Yep. Yes. It's been a couple weeks since we became surprisingly busy. We did it! We tripled our sales results. I'm sure you're satisfied with this, kashio san Maybe we did a bit too much. Are you happy now? <sighs> not bad. Well, this might be not enough. My big brother is really strict. I think he told me that you'd need to do 500% more than last month's sales results. Huh? Hold on a second. Give me a break. Are you sure he said that? Shut up! Why didn't you do a good job when I was your mentor? You seem to care a lot about yourself and no one else. Do you think you can help any rookies grow like that? Shut up! No matter how hard you disguise yourself, people will see what's in you after all. You can't just mistreat rookies like that. <gasps> I'll tell Dad on you too! Oh, brother! You're back! I would have picked you up at the airport if you called me. <sighs> oh. Wow, he is scary like I heard. He looks bigger than he actually is. Can I speak to Yoro Izuka-san? I'm here. I'm sorry I couldn't live up to your expectations. President, please give me another chance. I don't want to quit. I want to work here. Huh? What are you talking about? kashiya san told me that you're really strict and want me to do 500% more than the last month's sales results. Is that true, Kashio? Tell me. Don't get me wrong. I wanted them to work a bit harder. I didn't mean to make them feel uncomfortable. Don't give me a lame excuse. I've received a lot of complaints about you. You need correction, and I'll give you that. Oh no, oh, forgive me. He's so scary. I should never make him angry. Are you Hayami-san? Thank you very much for training. Keep up the good job. Uh, oh, uh, thank you. You're Oizuka san my company needs you. Would you be interested in working full-time? Yes, sure. Yeah, I did it! I'm proud of you. Thanks for everything. I'm so glad. Oh, hey, they're looking at us. I applied to this company because I have feelings for you. When my father's business wasn't going well, you went out of your way to help him. I'm really glad that we worked together and made a contribution to the company. Did I help your father? I never heard of Yoruizuka Construction or something. The company's name changed at one point. When Dad had trouble dealing with recruitment issues, this man in the suit helped him out. It's you. No one else would choose a job for a reason like that. You're really unique. <laughs> You're more unique than me. A little while later. Give me another minute. Yeah. Kashio has been working as the new president's secretary since. He's always intimidated by the president's scary gaze. Today, Yoro san and I come downtown for shopping. I can't believe this is what she wanted as a reward. Ta-da! I can't remember when I last wore a skirt. I'm embarrassed. How cute. Huh? I mean, the shop. <laughs> Damn it, I'm so lame. Okay, I want a reward. Oh, I thought shopping together was the reward. Shopping is just shopping. Okay, tell me anything. Be my boyfriend. I never thought I'd get a reward. Yeah, sure. I like you so much!